All right, so here's today's question. What is the best way to cut tile around electrical outlets? Today we've got a great tip for you. It's a quick tip on a new angle grinder blade that we recently got. This is the Montelite Squadro. It's three and three eighths of an inch in diameter, which is perfect for an electrical outlet. Most of the time we use a four and a half inch diamond blade like this one here, but there's a problem with that. When you look at the radius of a four and a half inch diamond blade, it's two and two quarters of an inch, which will make it really tough to cut out the short side of an electrical outlet. The Squadro's radius, on the other hand, is small enough such that you shouldn't have too much of an overcut on the short side of an electrical outlet. Now, when you're using an angle grinder to cut any type of tile, it's always important to know the specifications of the grinder and the diamond blade. This is the Fine WSG7115. This angle grinder is specifically meant for four and a half inch diamond blades or wheels. The WSG7115 is rated for 12,000 RPMs. That's a very important number to remember. Every diamond blade has a rating on it. As you can see here, the Squadro is rated for 18 thousand rpms you always want the rpm rating to be higher for the blade versus the angle grinder all angle grinders have a directional arrow on them like this one here and it points in the clockwise direction that's really really important to understand in addition every single angle grinder blade also has an arrow so as you can see here the arrow is pointing counterclockwise so we want to flip this over and mount it to the angle grinder in this way so we're just going to take this off by turning it counterclockwise and then position the squadro onto the wsg7 tighten it down there's a button on the top of the wsg7 you want to press this down and turn the blade until it locks in place and then use the provided wrench to tighten down on it Okay, so that's tight. By the way, do this with the angle grinder unplugged or with the battery out of it. For this demonstration, we're just using a piece of ceramic tile. It's clay based, nothing special. It's pretty cheap. I just made a simple outline on this tile in pencil. This shows the outline of the electrical outlet. So we're gonna go ahead and cut around this using the Squadro and I'll show you why it's such a great option for this type of project. So it's always good to wear a respirator when you're cutting tile, especially if you have to do it inside. Uh, one of these silica dust respirator kits is awesome. This is by Sunstrom. I'm just gonna be wearing one of these for today. Also a good idea to wear hearing protection and some safety glasses. Just some tips here. I started on the front side of the tile, the finished side of the tile, and started cutting all four sides of that outlet outline. Then I flipped the tile over to complete the cut. And as you'll see here, this helps out quite a bit when it comes to uh, cutting out an outlet. As you can see, the Squadro fits in between this short side cut very nicely. I do have some overcuts here and here, and I chipped the tile there. So I'm going to do another cut and see if I can improve upon this. With the second go around, I was much more careful making the cuts with the Squadro. And uh, it was easier to have it under control knowing that I could fit it in between that short side of the outlet. As you can see here, the cuts were much sharper uh, in terms of no overcutting and the look of the outlet is much, much better the second time around. As usual, I flipped it over to complete the cuts on the back side of the tile and take your time doing this because uh, you definitely don't want to have an overcut on the front of the tile, but as you see here, you can clean up any cuts with the Squadro to make it look better. As you can see with this second go around, there aren't any overcuts like on the first one here, and the Squadro did a really nice job of cutting around the electrical outlet outline. You can find the Montelite Squadro over in our online store at bathroomrepairtutor.com. The WSG7 is an awesome angle grinder with any of the Montelite blades. It's 55 to 75 bucks. It'll last you a long, long time and it has plenty of power. So if you got any questions, let us know down in the comments. If you're doing a bathroom remodel and you want extra help with that, check out our courses over on bathroomrepairtutor.com as well. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.